what's going on at Movement RX. Um, we are doing weekly mobility. We are at Boombox San Diego today. Awesome. Um, what I'm going to talk about is the press position specifically with the push up. We have a lot of tactical athletes and adaptive athletes watch this video, these videos. Um, so I want to show you how to fix, you know, the shoulder press position by actually how to by actually setting up your spine first. So here's the thing. You got your diaphragm, you got your traps, and you got your pelvic floor. And all of the tissues that surround that pelvic floor area, such as your adductor, your rectus femoris, your glute knee, your transverse abdominis, your diaphragm, those all really help, they come into play with the, hit, with the stabilization factor. They're deep stabilizers. So go ahead and mash those out this week. Um, wake them up, disinhibit them. But what I want to show you is how to practice um, a good push-up and how to test yourself. So I'm going to take over the video and I'm going to have my super coach demo some of these activities. So biggest thing here is can you hold a brace spinal neutral position for 90 seconds? Head down a little bit, keeping that neck nice and neutral. Belly button up, butt squeeze, heels together. Now Ray's going to show you what happens, common faults of the push-up. So the common fault is that the elbows want to flare out. Now, what happens to the shoulders immediately is they internally rotate, which is essentially a douchebag type position. Right, Ray? Yes. Now, what happens, the other common fault is that people go down and they overextend immediately and do a worm to come up. Now, I'm going to show you real quick what happens. Go ahead and go down and get in that worm position, Ray. So what happens is that those lats, that big lat that goes from the base of the pelvis all the way up, even attaches a part of that thoracic spine that you see there up to the front of the shoulder, around underneath that armpit up to the front, you're losing the force production there and you're throwing off the length tension ratio of your external rotators, your internal rotators, and the spinal stabilizers. So you've totally thrown off your ability to protect your back and you're now in, a, again, a douchey, less force produced position. So what Ray is going to show you is go ahead and get in that top of the push-up position. Good. Heels are together, butt squeeze, belly button up, butt down, and he's going to go ahead and keep his shins or his forearms perpendicular to the ground. His elbows are at about a 45 degree angle from his body, and he's able to preserve his shoulders by maintaining a good spinal position. He's not overextended, he's not putting too much pressure on that anterior shoulder, and he will be much more efficient. Now, hold the top of the position there for a second, right? He loves push-ups. Now, if you're in the military and you have to do 50 push-ups, let's say, you can go ahead and um, overextend just a little bit, but he's still squeezing his butt there. Notice that, he's still squeezing his butt, his heels are together, so he's at least able to generate some force still through his, his lats. Um, and he's still able to protect that back. It's not efficient by any means, but it's much more efficient than having the feet out, um, feet spread apart, butt not engaged, and elbows driving out into that douchebag position, okay? And yes, this is not a push-up either. So go ahead, try that out this week, you guys. Have some fun with it. Thank you, Super Coach Ray. He's over at uh, CrossFit Stronghold. He works with us. He's legit. Um, and have a good day.